Oh, there he is. Hey. What? How you doing, man? How's it going, Mark? It's going good. How was your weekend? Good, good, good. A lot of a lot of family time. Um, watched a little football. They had a great time for that. So, uh, yeah. What about you? Didn't watch any football. Uh, <laughs> spent... <clears throat> we have uh, my, my – I would say my wife's side has a bunch of Chiefs fans, uh, you know, being being in Missouri. So um, try to support them when I can. But it was it was, uh, it was you know, mostly with the kids. I'm gonna sound awful here. Are we coming up close to the Super Bowl here, or was that? <laughs> we got uh, three weeks. It's it's uh, the weekend of Valentine's weekend, okay. whatever that okay. is. So okay. um, yeah, getting there. Okay, yeah, I I, I was working in my wife's potting shed. Nice. Yeah. Well, well. <laughs> she was happy. Yeah, I bet. I was gonna say, you know, you're, uh, you know, scoring some points. Good yeah, work. maybe we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, nice, great seeing you, though. You too, man. You. Uh, so today we want to talk about, um, sort of, I, I guess, how to find off market. I think is is the is is what people want to hear about. Is that what you're feeling right now, too? Yeah, I was gonna say I'm, I'm anything around how to find off market deals. Um, happy to share best practices. I know we've got kind of a, a you know a fair number of of um, you know kind of I, I'd say it's kind of three step playbook that I've distilled down from uh, kind of a, a, a broad uh, swath of of just our best deal machine members. You know, uh, taking a lot of their best uh, best practices and being able to distill that down and say here's what's working for them. Here's how they're building that list, marketing that list and managing their pipeline. So um, I'm happy to share any questions around that stuff. And um, we even have like new deal machine updates, new features coming out. So I'm happy to share any like sneak peek on stuff like that as well. Oh, so, uh, you know, whatever, whatever you prefer, Mark. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's, I think that's what I'd like. I think that's what most everybody's looking for. So like right now, you know, we're having an, a, a, a decent amount of luck with on market deals. Um, off-market deals are becoming a little bit more difficult to find just because there's so much out there right now concentrating on off-market deals. But mm -hmm. that's why I think Deal Machine brings a lot to the table because it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. You know, I mean, when you're driving for dollars and things like that, which a lot of people are doing, but it is, it's, it's a lot more concentrated effort on, on the type of houses we're looking for. For sure. Um, but you know, one question I want to ask is, so we got, I think we got five projects right now, either in escrow or we just bought them or we're in the middle of them or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, a broad range. I'm trying to think right now, one, two were MLS, two were MLS and three were off market. Um, but a lot of those were brought to us by people uh, or people that came to us through social media. Mm -hmm. And, that's something that that uh, isn't talked about a lot because most people don't have a social media presence. So, or people do talk about it a lot, and it, it's not attainable for people that are starting out, right? I mean, I've got you know a bunch of followers, and and they know what I do, and we communicate, and that works really well for me. But most of these people starting out don't have that that luxury of having twenty five thousand people or right. forty thousand people or whatever audience the person has that's 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 a somewhat influencer so how can deal machine help them jumpstart their uh finding houses off market because i i i, I think i'm and i'm sorry you know my questions go on and on and on because i have thoughts but yeah, I, I think what really screws up this whole thing is so many influencers are out there talking about Oh, you know, you do this, this, and this, and you'll start getting deals. When in reality, a lot of their deals are coming from their followers, and they don't talk about that very much because that's not attainable for anybody. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna buy that, right? It's like, oh yeah, I got to buy three years of social media to get a couple of leads. That's a long-term game, so, yeah. So, so what is what is a cheat code for people that want to get started right now, uh, and how can Deal Machine help them with that? Yeah. And Mark, I think, I mean, you've done a phenomenal job, uh, you know, building your online brand like that. I mean, you are, you are right. It, it is a, 
uh, focusing on online content like that, I mean, that's an extremely valuable tool, but it is a long-term game. Like it's something mm -hmm. that you can't turn around and expect it to be sent, you know, you, know, you getting, uh, 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 you know, building up a network overnight like that. Like that's you putting a ton of time into investing in a variety of different things on social media, you know, and then your local market as well and all that. So I, I do agree with you there. Um, but I think, you know, anything that we're doing um, and the tools that we're providing for people, our, our main focus is how do we, you know, take technology and take a process that most newbies land their first deal by finding, you know, by looking around them and finding fixer upper properties, like finding these distressed homes that mm -hmm. aren't on the market yet. They're, they're, they're not as competitive because they're not on the market getting offers like that actively and, um, or at least not, you know, putting up the flag to say, you know, send me offers, mm -hmm. but um I know, you know, that that process has been around for decades, it's been around forever. And our whole goal is, hey, we're making technology to make that process way more simple, way more efficient, way more effective. Mm -hmm. um, even even David, like our, our CEO, um, when he started, when he founded Deal Machine, like, you know, he had a technology background and he was getting into real estate. This was 2015, 16. Um, mm -hmm. And he's in the Indianapolis market. And he had like been going to RIA meetups and been just like learning from other people and had a ton of friends who were telling him like, hey, go go to meetups, learn about this network locally. Um, mm -hmm. While you're doing that, go do this thing called driving for dollars. And, mm -hmm. you know, so it wasn't a new concept. It was him getting out there and trying to, you know, write down addresses. And he had like a little yellow notepad next to him and he'd drive around and and try to like take a picture of a house to document that. And then he'd like look up information about the owner to figure out like, what's the situation with this property? You know, is it vacant? Like what's the deal with it? Is it absentee? Um, then he'd figure out, okay, how do I, you know, create a mailer to be able to send to them? How do I reach out to them? And just the whole process was so cumbersome. So now that's our whole goal is we want to come in, give you technology right on your phone here, where you can go out, you know, pin properties around you really, really quickly and easily. As you do that, it'll pop up information about the owner right there to say, you know, what is the situation with this property? What are we looking at in terms of? Well, so, I mean, let me let me interrupt because yeah. I mean, do it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that saves you so much time in the long run because you may look mm -hmm. at it and go, oh yeah, I don't even want to pursue this property. Right. You know, this is, yeah. This is you know, this has got yeah. this sort of criteria on, and it's like that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking. These people are just slobs. Right. right? Yeah. Yeah. You can... I mean, they, they don't mm -hmm. owe much on the house and they're youngish and they just live like shit. That's the bottom line. They don't, you know, it, it, it's a zero sum game. There's really no reason mm -hmm. to approach. So, and, and that's what Deal Machine kind of helps out with that, right? Like that, mm -hmm. that instantaneous information. You go, yeah, okay, next. Yeah, exactly. You can you can kind of like figure out is this lead worth my time, worth my marketing budget, especially when you're starting out. Like that's huge to really understand. You know, this might be a side gig. This might be something where you're trying to get, you know, trying to you have a limited marketing budget and you only have a little bit to spend. Um, you know, mm -hmm. being able to go in and do that in, in a in a time efficient way and do it in a way that you use technology to tell you, okay, here's how, here's what I should be focusing on. Here are the leads that actually are qualified. You know, that's huge. So, like you said, David, I mean, he turned that whole process of you know 30, 40 minutes down into a few seconds of saying, hey, you know, pin the property, look all around me, uh, pin the pin the properties that are actually you know uh, qualified distressed homes. Um, you know, be able to look into data uh, data around that property owner. And then be able to, you know, uh, uh, skip trace and call, you know, call, text, email, um, or send a one-off mailer right there. You know, happy to get into best practices on, you know, what mm -hmm. our most successful deal machine members are, are I doing. Do, I do want to get into that towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And then, yeah. and then I think, you know, the whole goal behind this, like you said, like what's what's the, you know, why is this the best way to go? Like, what's the secret sauce here? It's because you're creating this list that's exclusive to you. You know, it's yeah. it's not something you can easily go out there and just pull online and be able to to start marketing right away. I mean, that's very. I mean, you can you can do that route, but it's just so low barrier that it's going to cost you a lot more in terms of marketing dollars and in terms of being able to to actually you know number of touch points, number of of, of postcards or calls or whatever it might be to reach that first deal through that method. Well, while, while definitely possible, you're looking at like four to five X uh, number of leads that you need to get to those, the, to get to that first deal. Whereas if you're going out and you're driving for dollars and you're creating this list that only you have, and it's it's you finding those diamonds in the rough, it's you you know creating this original targeted list that is gonna be way less competitive, just from a, a pure data perspective, the ROI is there where you're gonna spend way, way, way less 
on marketing and on your budget to be able to, to, to market those leads, then it would be alternative means. So um, that's kind of the secret sauce there. <laughs> so, so, you know, one thing I want to say too, to, to especially those that are starting to get, to, and Ramiz, um, uh, give us one minute. And we'll answer that as far as the, the skip tracing. Um, the one, the one thing I want to say to everybody out there is this is, you, you should have multiple ways that you're getting leads, right? Uh, at, at, uh, um, driving for dollars is one and relationships is another. And we just talked about building an online presence. And I want to go back to that for a second Yeah, because I, I, I still think it's really important that you get online and tell your story. So if you guys watch my stories on Instagram, uh, I'm telling my story, you know, whether it's helping my wife do something around the house or I'm out looking at houses or I had a deal go screwy and I want to share it with you, share your damn story. People will gravitate towards your story. They're not going to gravitate towards all your victories because, you know, victories are wonderful, but it's not real life. Um, share your story. Um, go into your community and, and get to know other investors that are investing and get to know them. Uh, go to meetups, uh, take classes. I mean, spend money on your education. I, all these things are going to build up getting deals and, and, and getting you to the point where I'm at, where deals kind of start flowing to you. And if you can do that on top of that, and you have this database of, you know, five or 6,000 houses that you're putting together at the same time while driving for dollars, mm -hmm. Now you've got multiple sources of leads coming in. You've got you've got off market stuff. You've got on market stuff. You've got real estate agents bringing you stuff. There's no one trick pony. You need to work on all of that at the same time. Uh, Matt and I are simply saying with with Deal Machine, it's the easiest way to get started because it doesn't require a relationship. But I just want you to know up front that and, and you know Matt works for Deal Machine and, and that's well known fact here. But I don't. So I want you always also to know that there are other ways to do it, but it's going to take a lot of time and effort and, and deal machine will too, but deal machines put you right in to where you need to be right away. So you, you can drive around and, and get a list of houses right away and you know, they're distressed and you know, you can look them up and you know, you can start marketing to those people, but please, again, I'll reiterate, do other things too. You need to start building. You might go, Oh, I don't want to wait two or three years. Well, guess what? It's going to take that long. And when the deals start coming to you that way and from your database of driving for dollars, you're going to go, oh, that was a good idea, Mark. Why didn't I listen to him? I, it's like the uh, example right now. Everybody's jumping out of the stock market because the, the market's crashing, right? So to speak. And, and they should be doubling down on, on buying right now, but, but, but they're not they're not putting the long-term effort into it like you have to do with marketing for, for, for your real estate business. And if you don't do that two or three years down the road, your pipeline is going to be empty and you're going to find yourself scrambling for deals every day rather than have deals come to you. So work mm -hmm. all on. anyway. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I love that. I mean, I think having a short-term plus long-term strategy is absolutely crucial and they really, they help each other too. Like if you're putting oh, yeah. out online content, if you're building an online brand, when you reach out to people using Deal Machine, like or using Driving for Dollars or whatever it might be, like yes, I you know, like you said, Mark, I do work for Deal Machine. I'm a little biased there, uh, but no matter what we do, we want you guys to be successful. Like I prefer it's with Deal Machine, but everything, yeah, everything I'm putting out there, the whole goal is like, hey, yes, you need to have multiple marketing channels. You need to be focusing on short term and long term. And if that short term strategy, for example, is using a, a Deal Machine to be able to reach out and to drive for dollars and market to people directly. While you're reaching out to people, one of the first things they're going to do is look up more info about you and figure out who is this person. And mm -hmm. if they can find some online content and you building credibility online, you building a brand, you building a local reputation, all of that, mm -hmm. that plays together so extremely valuably that you might not be getting the direct leads from that online content and direct leads from your other marketing yet. You know, that, that'll be a down the road thing. You know, as you consistently put out stuff, you'll start to see inbound business come from that. Um, but combining this 
short-term outbound strategy of driving around, reaching out to people, doing that, and having an online presence and, and investing in both at the same time, those make both of those things way more valuable. Oh, yeah. Your, your credibility goes off the charts. And, mm-hmm. and guys, it's hard to get credibility without doing some deals, right? You can't fake everything. Uh, so we've got a website um, that, that we put together just for credibility. Uh, Because we've done, you know, we've done a lot of deals. I mean, obviously, we've been in the business for a long time. We've done a lot of deals. And we have that going for us, right? But when we started, we didn't. We had no credibility. We had no deals. We had nothing, just like most people out there. But you got to start putting that stuff together right away and spend the time doing that. I mean, if you're just getting into this, you've got a lot of things to do. But the one thing you want to do is set yourself up for success. Matt just mentioned the long-term and short-term goals. Long-term goal is to have credibility and have leads coming in, right? But Mm -hmm. short term is to get deals as quickly as possible. And here's a funny thing. Whenever I've always been really reluctant to talk about products on on my site or social media because I don't want to come up as that guy. It's like, oh, yeah, he's he's making money. Well, here's the thing. If Deal Machine doesn't make you money, then Deal Machine will fail and go bankrupt. That's the bottom line. If it doesn't work, then they won't be here. So it's the same with a bunch of stuff. You'll see a lot of stuff come out that gets really, really hypey. Uh, different people that do different different things, and a lot of people do the same thing, but people that do a lot of different things in the real estate uh, world, and they're here and they're gone, and it was just because it was hypey. It seemed good, and a lot of people were pushing it, but it didn't really work that well. So Deal Machine has it in their best interest to put together a program that really, really works. And if it doesn't, then number one, I'm not going to be here because I'm not going to put my face on it. Uh, Number two, Mm -hmm. they're not going to be here because they won't be able to afford to be here. So Mm -hmm. suffice it to say, I've been with these guys long enough to know they're actually putting things out. And and I know Matt's got new stuff coming out uh, and he's going to talk about that in a minute. But And I don't Mm -hmm. mean to keep hyping it, but like I said, I've told you a hundred times, if you're going to buy one damn thing, this is it because it doesn't cost that much money. Everything else could cost you thousands of dollars a month, but this is like, what is it? A hundred bucks a month now? Uh, starter is 59 bucks a month. So well, what uh, the hell? Why am I paying so much? Money? <laughs> you are pro plan. You you guys are probably on the pro plan. I would assume yeah, that's for 19, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cause we have multiple people and yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I think um, we definitely we really try to hang our hat on our ratings and reviews because as you guys talking about the app and I know we're the highest uh, rated and reviewed uh, mobile app for real estate investors out there, um, like a 4.8 out of five. So, um, yeah, that's one thing we're very proud of and uh, appreciate you having us on too, Mark. So, Oh, no, no, no problem. I, like I said, that I don't I don't do this often, but I do it with you guys because I believe in your product. Um, so. Guys are just getting into it. They get your app. Um, and I know we've talked about this a little bit before, but what would you say would be the first steps for the first week for people just getting started? Mm-hmm. And then and I want to get into some of the new stuff that's coming out this year on, on Deal Machine. We went over that last time a little bit, but I want to reiterate. Uh, so wh- what what would you mm-hmm. say for people that do in the first seven days here? Yeah. And and the first seven days are extremely crucial. Like that's where you got to get out there and really take action. Um, Because I know, so we do a, and we do a seven day free trial um, through you guys as well. So um, definitely make sure to go through through Mark's uh, offer and, and and promo and all that setup, so that way you're getting bonuses and 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 you know all the free stuff through that, um, you know, free seven day trial and all that. But I think that that first seven days are absolutely crucial because we see if we look at the data to see who who's having success, who's getting out there, who's sticking with it, who is really like landing those deals. I mean, we've had um, just on our YouTube channel over 130 videos alone of us interviewing people who've landed deals using deal machines. We, we've got a lot of this stuff to look back on and see like what is really working for people. Um, mm-hmm. It's during that fir- first two months, first 60 days, but especially that first week of like getting out there, hitting the ground running. What do you do? You know, if you download the app, you're going, you, if you're going with our driving for dollars option there, you jump right in and simply, I mean, the little things such as like just starting in the areas that you know and going and starting to drive your neighborhood, starting to, you know, again, you're driving for dollars, meaning you're looking for these fixer upper properties, you know, these, these properties that have, you know, very either more subtle signs of physical distress, like, 
maybe just a really overstuffed mailbox and, you know, growing, you know, fast growing, you know, overgrown weeds. And, you know, it just looks like a little bit of a mess or maybe um, one example I use often is our first hire. He got his first deal using deal machine, um, you know, us, uh, uh, you know, using our own app um, with a, a uh, it was a house that had Halloween decorations up and it was like March. <laughs> so like things yeah, like that, the like ever, signs the that popular, the ever popular year round Christmas lights are exactly. Are yeah. yeah, it's like for whatever reason, there's not keeping up with that yeah. property. So little things like that, or it could be really obvious stuff like the the tarp on the roof or yeah. gutters falling off or, you know, things like, you know, uh, uh, shutters falling off, like boarded up windows, things like that. Um, yeah. You know, going out there, driving your area that you know best, you know what looks a little bit out of place in your neighborhood best. Um, start tagging those properties right in the app. You know, you've got a bunch of a bunch of little black dots that'll pop up around you. It'll lock onto your location. You start tapping on those to, to create your list of leads there. Um, you know, I'd say a couple of, oh, go ahead, Mark. Well, I was just going to say, so, and, and I, well, go ahead and finish what you're going to say because I do have a, yeah. I, I do have a lead up, a follow-up question. Yeah. So right. And, and, I'll forget. You're good. <laughs> go for it. Uh, yeah, for in, in during those first seven days, like step one is getting in your car, driving around there. Um, I actually recommend, I mean, we see a lot of people who will go on, online to online forums or Facebook groups or places where there are investors talking to each other. And you can mm -hmm. see you know, what are those areas that are the hot spots that people are really investing in and start driving those areas and the fringe around it. So that way you can kind of, you know, be able to, especially if you're in a wholesale the deal, know that you're in an area that cash buyers are going to be interested. Um, mm -hmm. So start driving around. Um, start to pin properties right in the app. Um, you know, I, in terms of number of properties, I mean, getting out there, it's going to be variable based on your market. Like, um, you know, I'm in St. Louis, you're a lot less, you know, a lot less competitive in a Midwest market than, you know, a California or something. Um, so you got to know your local market a little bit and make sure you build, uh, you know, uh, build habits to be able to get to the right number of leads there. But in like a St. Louis you're, or, you know, uh, around my area, you're looking at a couple hundred, you know, usually three, 400 leads to be able to get that, to get a deal on average. So go mm -hmm. out there and make sure that you're starting to pin properties and you're doing the math of knowing like, Hey, if I'm pinning, you know, 30 properties an hour and I need 300, I need to find 10 hours here this month to go out and drive around or, or bring someone on to do that for me. So those first seven days, it's like, start to pin properties, start to look around, you start to create that list. Um, one, one pro tip within the deal machine app, you have a highlights button inside a deal machine. So mm -hmm. you could hit highlights and then, uh, filter out according to a very specific filter and say like, yeah, show me all of the, you know, high equity homes in this area. Show me all of the absentee homes in this area. Show me the vacant ones. And you'll start to see these green boxes pop up around you. You know, that, that could give you a really good hint on, areas that you should be driving in, or if you drive by a property, you know, the point is you got to pin everything around you. You want to, you know, be able to uh, look, you know, look beyond just what the green highlights show you, or you might as well just pull a list, but, you know, being able to see that green box pop up and then really look and say, okay, this is a high quality lead. If in addition to this green box is physically distressed, you know, that, that, you know, that tip alone, along with kind of setting that couple hundred lead mark and starting to get out there to, there to drive, um, is a great place to start. So, okay. So let's say, let's say I'm just starting out and, uh, or we've even been doing it for a little while and you guys have stats that I don't have. Uh, I mean, I, I could get them from you anytime I want, but what, <laughs> what gives people the most success in, in, with, mm -hmm. with this app? Is it, is it sending postcards to people? Is it calling people? Great question. Uh, you, you've done, so much research on that mm -hmm. walk through let's say that i want to get i want to get a deal in 30 days which mm -hmm. is it's tough to do that's a that's a tough that's a tough one to do mm -hmm. um I, out here it takes an average of three months but i know in different cities it doesn't take as long yeah, but, that's the market. uh what's what's going to get me my quickest success using deal machine with a combination of everything that you guys have yeah, so the um, the data uh, reflects this as well, but I think we touched on it briefly um, in terms of the online brand, saying like long term plus short term. Yeah. The 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 marketing strategies you want to use, and and it's because people, you know, a potentially motivated seller 
everyone responds differently. People are going to get back to you and, and pay more attention to various different things, whether it be, you know, a phone call, text, email, you know, door knock, uh, you know, mailer, whatever it might be. But the, the most successful deal machine members, they're doing a, a combination of two things. They're doing a short-term feedback loop strategy. So they're out there, they're driving around, they're pinning properties, they're, they're starting to create their list and they're taking action on it immediately. So they are skip tracing, you know, one-off skip tracing right in, inside the app. And then with that information, you know, they'll be pinged back with phone numbers, they'll be pinged back with email addresses, um, taking that information and immediately calling, texting, email, um, and door knock. You know, those are kind of the four four main you know, ways of getting that short term feedback loop that we see. Um, they're they're doing a short term strategy to get to reach out directly uh, to get on that potential seller's radar to get feedback from them and if they're even a qualified lead, if they're interested at all. Like they're they're making that that immediate action right there. Um, mm -hmm. To reach out to a to a, you know somebody who owns a property that you know needs some needs some help, and then uh, they're combining that with the second part of this is that long term nurture strategy, and the way they're doing that using Deal Machine is they're sending mail, and they're sending these mailers where you can we set it up so you have technology to be able to set it and forget it. So um, you know we highly recommend um, doing a nurture campaign where you can within the app just hit send mailer and you as it to say, hey, send them piece of mail every three weeks or every month or every two months, however often. Um, best practice is usually every how, how often do you suggest? Because that's that's yeah, that's too complicated for most people that are starting. That's complicated. Say, so uh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh usually recommend every three to four weeks. So okay. if you can if you can set one and just say hey every 21 days or every once a month, send them a mailer. Um, that's going to be a cadence to be able to get on their radar and, 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 you know, you're combining that short-term outreach, right. With that long-term. So you're getting their attention you're starting to reach out, you're trying to see if they're a qualified lead. And then, uh, you know, especially if, if they say something like timing isn't right, or, you know, if it's, if it's a long-term, you know, uh, uh, you know, a uh, lead that, that, you know, is qualified, but isn't, isn't, uh, ready to take action this second in mm -hmm. order to stay top of mind with them by consistently following up. Like that is where you're going to put yourself in the position that most investors don't. Like so that's now, where you're. Mm -hmm. Let me interrupt. Uh, sorry, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Good questions. So, so this is after we get a hold of them. We start postcards after we at least establish the fact that they have interest, or do we just do both? Uh, the most successful members are doing both, so they're putting it on. I mean, it, from the beginning, first day, they. Mm -hmm. They skip trace and by the way somebody uh Ramiz was asking who you use, use, use for skip tracing well it's right inside the app guys you can, yeah. you can trace right inside the app yep. um exactly. and do you guys do discounts for bulk uh skip tracing so we don't uh it, it depends on the plan you're on if you're on our starter or pro plan you're at 14 cents a skip trace and then our elite plan is uh 12 cents i believe okay. currently because, um i mean there are people out there that'll do it cheaper if you do mm -hmm. 40,000, whatever, but uh, mm -hmm. to be able to do one at a time, a one off like that, the, I don't think anybody can touch that. At all. Yeah. The, and, the, oh, I was just to mention really quick the bulk is, is more valuable, honestly. Typically, if you're going to pull that list, like if you're one, if you're driving for dollars, you're probably one off skip tracing. You're probably getting back to your, your computer and skip tracing a couple hundred leads. But um, yeah, that's kind of the thought process behind it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and bulk, I think you can get it. I think, you know, you used to be able to find it for eight or nine cents, but I think I think 12 cents is kind of like the market average now. So I wouldn't I mean, I wouldn't necessarily I kind of like not having 17 different apps because what happens mm -hmm. here's here's one of the one of the traps that people fall into in, in this business, too, is there's so many damn apps out there and so many programs and so many different services mm -hmm. and you just forget. And if you're like me. And you don't pay really, really close attention to your to your, uh, your bank statements every month, like my wife does. You find out at the end of the month you've got two thousand dollars worth of apps and things that maybe you're only using a third of them, and that happens all the time because we're always trying new things, and so you guys don't have to. And it's a it's an easy trap to fall into, especially if you get a couple of deals and you go, oh yeah, it's fine, that's no big deal. Man, watch your damn overhead, watch mm -hmm. it, kill you, but. Okay, so so right now, when we get a lead, 
when we're out driving around, we get a lead. We get this house that's got a tarp on the roof. We take the picture, put it on our list, and we go ahead and automatically start a 30-day, every 30-day uh, postcard. And we also know that as soon as we get back to the office, we're going to skip trace that. And we're going to co- try to contact them by phone. We're going to try to uh, text them if it's legal in your state. And we're also going to go knock on their door if we can't get anything there. Uh, so basically, the point is, is that you're going to have to work for this. You're not, this isn't just going to fall into your lap. The guys that are the most successful are doing all these things. You can't just buy this app and go, all right, I just drive around and I'll pin houses all day and that's it. I'll send postcards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that might work uh, if you get a couple hundred houses a day. But you really guys need to really understand that it's going to require a lot of a lot of work, right? On top of this app just kind of pulls it all together for you, but it doesn't actually go out there and make the people sell their houses to you. So mm-hmm. this is a really, really important point, and then Matt and I both feel very, very strongly about this, is you've got to put the effort in, too. Uh, we don't want people to think that, ah, I got the app, now I'm going to start getting house. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't Nothing works that way. There's no magic. If there was, well, if there was, I <laughs> I think you and I'd be tired right now. Uh, <laughs> Fair. So, so what is... Let's say St. Louis. I mean, can you give me an average city? I don't even know what an average city is because I'm in LA, so there's no average <laughs> here. Yeah, you're some plug for the Midwest here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, St. Louis, Kansas City, Indianapolis. Um, a lot of them are super active markets right around us um, that are you can find good, cla- you know, cash flowing deals and things like that. Okay. Um, and then, and uh, another thing too that well, it's on my mind here. So right now, there's a lot of uh, a lot of scuttlebutt. Uh, going on about uh, wholesaling as far as, um, you know, they're going to start requiring people to get real estate licenses or some sort of licensing. And a lot mm-hmm. of states are, you know, there's five or six states now. There's two or three states that have, that have actually come up with rules and five or six that are actually looking into it, which means there's going to be a snowball effect because the National Association of Realtors is super excited about getting some sort of commission off of, of wholesalers. Um which is why I always say the three pillars are so important. It's it's wholesaling, it's flipping, and it's buy and hold. You shouldn't just be into this game for wholesaling because uh, that's a job and it's a dead end job eventually. Because eventually you're going to have to stop working. So you need to you should be doing all three of those. Um, mm-hmm. And what 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 is going on? What are you guys doing uh, about that? As far as education, are you guys still pushing? wholesaling really hard or, or what, where is your, what are your thoughts on that? And have you guys even had discussions about that? Yeah. I mean, we're, we're definitely keeping ourselves updated on, on all the moving pieces. I mean, in Illinois, it's been like this for quite a while and that's right across the road. I know. So yeah. So we definitely have people who, um, you know, the, the goal is you got to do it the legal way, you know, whatever yeah. that, whatever that process might be. So mm-hmm. we're, we're not uh, lawyers by any means, you know, we you still want to want to check and you're be aware of your local laws and your state, you know, oh, sure, in yeah. whatever state you're in. Um, but like you said, that being said, um, you know, I think there's a, the right way you can go about doing it, whether it be in that double close or whatever the particular process might be. You, might, you know, having a license, many people go through that um, and, you know, getting a real estate license. So that way they're, you know, doing it themselves. You know, there, there's a, a couple of different options you have there, I think. Um, but I, in the end, I think you're right, Mark. Like the, the, the goal is like, yeah, we, you know, wholesaling, is, especially when you're first getting started and maybe don't have, uh, as much you can invest in your own marketing and, and, you know, you're just trying to get your feet wet and learn, you know, learn to do that first deal and all of that. I think wholesaling is a great place for, for that start, but um, the long-term game is to be able to build this into, into long-term wealth. You know, it's, it's something right. you want to uh, be able to wholesale fix and flip. So you're making even, even bigger checks there and then buy and hold. So that way you're, you're building that long-term cash flow, that long-term portfolio for yourself. So yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. One, one thing cool. um, that you did touch on as well, just wanted to make a, a note as well. You had said like, hey, you know, it's not going to do all the work for you. 100% agree. Like, I think that is the area that in general where we see people make the biggest mistake is they get they get fired up, they get out there, they start adding properties, all of that. Um, you know, you're putting in the initial hard work there. But 
um, you know, the where you're going to really you know make the dollars where you're going to really land those deals is through that consistent follow up and through consistent action. Mm-hmm. And in the end, you got to think think almost like a marketer where you're filling up your funnel. You're putting a ton of leads into that funnel at the top. And then, you know, as you put those leads that, you know, in there, it's going to lead to, OK, actual calls back, actual conversations with met, with uh, motivated sellers, you know, an actual contract, an actual deal. You get to kind of play that numbers game where if you know you put in, you know, 300, 300, 400 leads at the top to get that one deal at the bottom, then you got to keep filling that back up and you got to be able to put that the touch points in to be able to go down that entire process. So, yeah, um, it's, not, it's, not, yeah. it's not just putting the leads in there. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's. It's actually following up, sending the post, out, the whole thing. following up, following up, following uh-huh. up, following up, following up, and until you get a restraining order. That's pretty much what we're kind of <laughs> Yeah. yeah. When, when, when the restraining order comes, you take them out of the queue. So that leads to the next question is, how long do you follow up with a lead? How long do you keep sending postcards to them? Um, how long do you keep calling them? Uh, from your statistics, uh, when do you when do you finally go, yep, yeah, that's it, I can't. I got 60,000 leads. I can't follow up on all of them. Some of them got right. a drop off. When is that point? Yeah. And, and I think, I mean, that's a great, great problem to have too. Like you got to, you know, you got to build up your, your list to get there and have, if you have truly that many qualified leads, that's great. You're doing a good job there. I think um, in the end, like we're, we're trying to build technology to automate as much of that as possible. So, you know, if you have that, that large lead list, like, consistently putting them on that mailer and doing that in a way where, you know, we, where we see deals come is having at least, you know, when, when you're putting out, you know, that mailer every, you know, once a month, putting them on a campaign that's like six to 12 months is definitely recommended. I mean, we have plenty of people who are landing deals. That they added a deal machine, you know, two, three years ago, and now they're yeah. getting a call. So it's hard to say, like, turn that off. This would be like, Hey, if you have a very limited marketing budget, then limit it to, you know, six to 12 months. Um, you know, but, but having that long-term nurture, you're still going to get those, those deals that come in from that. Um, but when it comes to budgeting your time, so you're budgeting your marketing dollars that way, you're, we're, we're helping you, you know, build, use automation to do that through your, your mail, uh, campaigns and deal machine, budgeting your time. Um, you want to look and be able to focus on the highest quality leads. So it's Mm -hmm. like, okay, is is you're consistently following up with people, look at that list, try to filter out that list to be able to identify, you know, what are those, you know, a couple hundred or thousand or, you know, whatever it might be, top Mm -hmm. leads in my list that I can really double down on my focus and use that time to be able to call, you know, do do the rest of those touch points too. Um, So we've built, you know, a variety of different ways to kind of filter that out and help you identify those. But I think the the goal is like build out big lists, put them all on the long-term nurture, um, limit to a year if you if you have to on the long term nurture, and then spend your time focused on the highest quality leads. Mm-hmm. And and I, I love that you brought that point up. Let's 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 dive into that a little bit. Mm-hmm. Quality leads, qualified leads. So don't waste your time following up with someone that is not responding to you, that is not talking to you, that is not giving you some sort of an idea that they're interested in selling. If, if they tell you to go pound sand, you know, three times in a row and you've, you followed up with them three times, um, basically there, if you're out driving for dollars and you get 50 leads a day, whatever, I mean, 40 leads a day or whatever, Mm -hmm. you're going to eventually get to the point where you, you've got some coming in and some going out. I kind of look at it as a pipeline with holes in the side of it. So there's a big Mm -hmm. pipe and you're shoving people in one end. And these are the people that you're driving. Uh, to. And then there's a very, very low flow of people pouring out the end, right? But in order to get those people to push out the end, you've got to keep pushing people through the beginning of it. You're putting massive amounts of people through there. But there's little holes in the pipe where a lot of those people are going to shoot out the sides, right? So uh, only a few are going to drop out the end. But you've got Mm -hmm. to keep that pipeline full all the time. And you've got to be able to get rid of the people that are in there that aren't going to buy that you know aren't going to aren't, aren't going to sell. So, how do you when you when you get a hold of somebody on the phone or you know someone responds to text and they say no I'm never going to sell I don't want to sell you guys are assholes I'm always getting hit up go away do you take them out of the pipeline or do you keep hitting them up Yeah so I 
there are a couple tips on this one. Um, whenever we get a, a call like that, um, I think in, in really every interaction we have with the seller, highly recommend taking notes on that particular process. Um, quick, we have sideline. hold your thought quick sideline. Do you guys yeah. use a CRM to do that, or does the is there some sort of a CRM that's involved with, with Deal Machine? Yeah, so we wouldn't, I don't know, oh, seriously, it comes with a CRM too. <laughs> there you go. We wouldn't, we wouldn't like necessarily call ourselves a CRM, but we've you've got the leads view, you've got you know tasks that you can manage, you've got notes that you can take right in Deal Machine. Okay. Um, so can a lot of people reminders? will use it that way. Can you do what does it do reminders? The if you have to set the task to be able to do that. So course, it'll tell you. you you have to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but, but yeah. If mm -hmm. I pull up my deal machine app and uh, let's say I said, I want to call back Joe Smith on the 1st of February. When I yep. open up my deal machine app on the 1st of February, it tells me to do it. Yep. Yep. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so, so. so I don't need to spend another 40 bucks or 15, $20 a month on a CRM. Then. There you go. Yeah. And we've got. Okay. Yeah. And, okay. and when we're doing the, the task manager, actually, when you jump in deal machine, you've got like your dashboard and then task managers, that second tab right there. So okay. yes, uh, you know, you can, you can set the reminders right in there and okay, use so, that as a way to see what you have to do that. So, day. Yeah, and say, saving, saving a little bit more money every month of that precious dollars that you can spend, you know, spending another, you know, on a CRM, you could be, you could be sending another 15 postcards a month just for the cost of that. Um, all right, go ahead and finish what you were saying before. I, I'm so sorry, but no, that was great. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's like you know, how do people keep track of this stuff? Okay, yeah, so they're managing their pipeline by doing that, and I, I recommend any interaction, good or bad, that you have with a seller, uh, put that in, you know, put that in Deal Machine. Like you can actually take a note within the property card. Like when you when you tag that property, it pulls up information about the property owner right there. Um, mm -hmm. When you add that lead to your list, you have the option to be able to take notes right there as well. So start taking notes on every on you know a few door knocks, yeah. you, everything yeah. you're doing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. and and the main reason for that is because where we see our most successful deal machine members is they're using that feedback to then kind of do a, a post mortem, like look back and figure out what went right or what went wrong with that particular lead. Mm -hmm. So whenever you get a call back like that and it's an unqualified lead, you know you can mark it as a deal lost. You can stop marketing to them. Yeah, like I recommend that. But when you do that, go back through your notes and figure out like, hey, what, you know, where did that go wrong? Or where did I add this? Or what can I, what can I learn from this process? Yeah. And being able to get a no from somebody is just, I mean, it's not as, not as great as yes, but it's almost as productive just because you're learning from that. And you're, it's one less person that you can take out of your marketing budget and not send mailers, not skip trace, not spend your time on them. You're, you're getting to a decision, which is what you're, what you're aiming yeah. for. And that's, um, and that's such a tough thing too, because when somebody mm -hmm. says no, it usually means maybe. So you've got to, and this is one of those things that there is no nothing but experience and time, and even then, it's still, and not an exact client. You know, mm -hmm. you, and the reason I'm asking you all these, and I'm asking you some hard ass questions today. I mean, we're talking nitty gritty stuff that people ask all the time it's like well when do i know when to stop when do i know when to start what mm -hmm. how do i start yeah. what, what? and I'm all these that. questions are kind of arbitrary because it's it's an inexact science i mean we've got data and things to back up things but i mean mm -hmm. we don't know when to stop we don't know when to start we don't know when to take someone out we don't need to put someone back in you know just it's one of those things you just learn as you go right mm -hmm. and, and regardless of how you react to it i think the, the process behind it of, of taking those notes and being able to look back and learn from it, no matter what, whether you're going to continue to reach out to them or, you know, you're going to, you're going to stop and take them off your list. Like regardless that, I think that's the key is you're going to be experimenting, learning and being able to consistently get better at it. And that that's, you know, I would say there's way more data on that. There's way more on us looking at that and saying, this is the, the action consistently that our top uh, investors are doing, regardless of if they take them off the list or keep following up, it's they're learning from their wins and losses and they're getting their, they're making their processes much more effective because they're learning from the, the, uh, what they're doing. So, yeah, I think, I think this is one of those things and you know, it's so funny uh, and thank you guys so much for being here. I, I don't do lives on YouTube, but Instagram's kind kind of getting a little wiggy, you know, with with fake accounts and things like that. So 
Uh, we're going to steer a little bit more towards YouTube here for a while. Uh, I'm still going to be on Instagram every day, a million times a day, but I'm starting to see uh, YouTube has so much more to offer when it comes to security for you guys and for us. And uh, I, I think we're really going to start pushing this 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 platform a lot more. Um, but I think what's missing, what is really really missing in 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 your industry, is people that answer these damn questions succinctly with some knowledge. You know, even me, after doing it for as many years as I have, I'm as much of an expert as the next guy. You know, I still have a lot of gaps and things in my knowledge base on on how to market. Just because, I mean, what we do brings enough in because we've been doing it for so long time uh, for so long. But if I'm if if I'm if I'm just beginning though, there's so much crap out there, so much static, mm -hmm. and it's so confusing. I just want to get started, damn it! And and everybody's like, yeah, well, you know, you do this, 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 and this. But I've always I'm I'm one of those guys that always goes, well, well yeah, but what if? And how long do I do this? And and no one gets those specific answers. I mean, you've been pretty good today, but nobody does that. Nobody does that. You know, this, this, everybody just listens and goes, oh, yeah. And then they get off the webinar and they go, oh, my God, I'm going to order that. And they order it and then they get going into it. And it's like, well, wait a second. How long should I market to this person? Mm -hmm. Or how should I talk to them? Or how should I do this? It's not out there. It's not available. And I don't care what anybody says. It's just not. So, uh yeah. Question real quick is, is Deal Machine the same as props? Uh, no, actually, we do have a ton of people who will use us in tandem with them. So that, yes. I mean, that's, you know, uh, definitely an option out there. But I think we differentiate in, in quite a variety of ways. Um, before I jump into that, uh, appreciate, you know, appreciate the feedback. And you, again, you having yes, me on yes. today, like this has been great. I know um, a lot of the stuff I'm relaying today is just based on the data of what our de best deal machine members are doing and what's working for them. So, um, you know, ho hopefully that can give people a great playbook and give them some answers because it's not always a, like you said, it's not a cookie cutter. Here's exactly yeah. what you got to do every single situation. Yeah. But, um, you know, that's where I get a lot of, a lot of my information is, is uh, on my end, you know, what's working for our, uh, yeah. you know, investors like you well, guys. I, 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 you um, you give a lot more information than, than most people do on that. So I mean, you know, you're <laughs> working more, on you're it. Appreciate that. Than, than emotion driven. So, uh, and I appreciate that. Yeah. And, and I think, um, so one, appreciate that. Uh, I think to answer the, the question there on us and prop stream, probably our main differentiators. I think PropStream is first and foremost known more for their list building um, and a lot of their like comps and data and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I think, you know, they, they have a PropStream mobile option. Um, you know, that, that's a, you know, a driving for dollars option out there. Um, for us, um, where we have a list option, it's, it's something that actually really excited to say we're upgrading, um, you know, so quick little sneak preview, we're upgrading that. Um, over the next about month or month, you know, uh, rolling out over, you'll see it like throughout February, March, um, everybody's starting to get it. Um, but it's our, our kind of list builder 2.0. I'm really, really excited to be able to, to, to have the people use that because, you know, I know we talked about driving for dollars today, um, that, you know, list builder, you, again, you know, you can go out there, you can pull a list that way. It's going to cost you more in marketing and you're going to have to be able to, to uh, have a bigger budget set up up front to be able to get to that first deal compared to driving for dollars. But um, our data and our uh, usability of it and how it integrates into deal machine, all that's getting a huge facelift. So very excited on that. Um, we differ, really differentiate. I think we're very, we're mobile first in a lot of ways because of our drive for dollars. So I think mobile app, that's what I mean is like, hey, we're the we're the most reviewed and highest reviewed mobile app out there for real estate investors. Like, you know, we really help you guys because you're out there, you're out in the field, you're out, you know, finding deals around you, you're 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 out there practicing driving for dollars. So um we're we're I think really hanging our hat on that and then also the ability to scale that too. Um, that's a pretty big difference versus us and anything else out there is being able to add drivers to your account and create a driving team and use Deal Machine as a way to manage that driving team. We have a whole suite of of, of tools in Deal Machine to be able to do that. Um, so I think you know being able to to show that, and then outside of that, I think our support team and our community and really like the support you have around you 
Um, mm -hmm. We really focus on that. Like we've got um, our support team. They answer in, in the, I know lately it's been like two minutes or less to get back to you. Um, yeah, the super, app. Super, super, super. Um, yeah. So we're, we're really focused there. We're always uh, updating the app. Like our development teams putting out a new update every two weeks. Other competitors aren't, aren't doing that. If you look back at, at notes on app updates. Um, so yeah, so we really uh, focus on, a lot around you guys, enabling you for success, whether it be um, your ratings, reviews you're giving us, the support team around it, the tech around it, you know, being mobile first, like um, I'd say we differentiate on all that. And then our, our pricing as well, like our starter plans are 59 bucks a month. So um, yeah, that's a, you know, don't want to go on too long about that, but I know. No, that's, no, 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 that's what, no, honestly, that's what people are here for. They're, they're, they're looking to see if this is worth doing. Um, mm -hmm. I obviously think it is. Uh, so no, I, that's what we're here for. So if 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 they want to use the app, then they should. If they don't want to, that's their prerogative too. I mean, it's there's a lot of things that work out there, but all of them require work. And uh, the machine just kind of seems to bring everything together cohesively, and it's relatively inexpensive. And again, I'll say it again: if you're just starting out, this is probably the most valuable thing that you can do. And we do a lot of different things. I mean, that's I, I'm. I like deal machine just because I deal with a lot of people that are just starting and a lot of people don't have the money to do what some of these bigger companies do that are paying 30, $40,000 a month in marketing. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get started, I always say it. And I, and I have a course and I talk about it in the course. Um, it doesn't make me money in the course, but I know that it'll make them money in the course. So that that's why we talk about it. And by the way, too, uh, shameless plug, if you guys are interested in, in seeing more about what we do, uh, check us out on Instagram at Mark McMahon Real Estate. We do have a package uh, for people that are getting started or that have started already and are kind of hitting some roadblocks. I've got some free information in there. Uh, there's videos. There's lists on how to get started. Uh, Allie's put together a really great starter package, and it's absolutely free. I'm not asking for anything, but pretty much what it does is it saves me time asking all those questions. So if you guys could just go there and download that, that'd be great. We do have a course uh, that talks about nuts to soup or soup to nuts, soup to nuts. Um, oh, okay. on how to get started uh, using all kinds of different methods. Uh, Deal Machine plays in there a lot uh, just because I think it's a, a great way to start. So you'll see that in my link tree on my Instagram, uh, again, of Mark McMahon Real Estate. Uh, but Having said that, and uh, to wind up, I mean, I don't know where else you can kind of go and get, you know, basically reminders and, and you know, postcards and skip tracing. I'm especially one-off skip tracing. You know, it's like, hey, I want to go skip, skip trace one property. It's like, yeah, okay, nobody's going to do that for you. Um, and so I, I just did really... Yeah, Michael's saying uh, that he got started in July of 2020. Uh, and yeah, I know Michael and I know he uses it. Um, Amazing. If you use this app the way it's meant to be used, you will succeed. And if you don't, you might still succeed, but more than likely not. But it's like anything else, you got to work it. But this is one of those things that sets a lot of systems up for you so you can succeed and uh, use it. And use it the way it's meant to be used and, and you will get deals. That's yeah. Yeah. And I, I uh, feel free to use me as support as well. Just uh, my email is matt at dealmachine.com. You know, feel free to reach out. And I, um, what, like I said, we're here to set you guys up for success. We've got a whole customer success team set up, ready to go to, to help people on board and, and teach them how to use the app. And, and, you know, we're here to, here to help. So um, especially if you, if you use us, uh, make sure to use that promo code MBH. Um, M is in Matt, B is in, uh, boy and H's and horse, you know, MBH, uh, be able to, to get, uh, I know we have a hundred free skip traces set up for people there, um, or 15 or, uh, 25 free mailers there, um, and a seven day free trial. So if you're going to try us out, make sure to do that versus going through our site, you're gonna get a better deal and, uh, please reach out to me. I'm here to support in any way you need me. All right, guys. Uh, thanks Matt so much. Uh, always enjoy talking to you and, yeah. uh, I hope it's nice and warm in St. Louis. It's not too bad. You know, it could be worse. We actually, we recently had snow uh, like a week ago and that was actually pretty fun. The kids, uh, you know, once went sledding a little bit, uh, you know, once we've, we've done that for the winter, so I'm ready for it to be warm. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. uh, you know, I, I'm with you. I a hundred percent. I got up this morning and it was, 
for Southern California, it was cold. It was in the 40s. And, uh, and now it's warmed up to, you know, the high 60s at this point. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I know. Look so, at you. <laughs> anyway, I know. I know. Living the dream. Uh, anyway, well, till next time, I suspect we'll be doing this again in a couple of weeks somewhere, someplace. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I always have a great time with you, Mark. Thanks. Again. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate it. And uh, <clears throat> keep working hard. You too. Keep it up. Yeah. It's a great year. Peace. Yeah. And uh, guys, go, go check me out on Instagram if you haven't. Uh, and uh, also hit up Matt too. Perfect. Thanks again. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>